Hi, my name is Tony, and today I'll speak to you about the Smart Art feature. The Smart Art feature allows you to create diagrams and charts to illustrate concepts that would otherwise require several paragraphs of explanation. To begin creating a Smart Art graphic, click on the Insert tab, go to the Illustrations group, and click on the Smart Art button. The Smart Art Choose a Smart Art graphic dialog box will open. In this box, it lists seven different styles of Smart Art graphics that you can use. Today, I'm going to use the Hierarchy Smart Art graphic because I'm going to use my family structure as an example. Click the OK button, and this will insert the Smart Art graphic onto your document. In each shape, you'll see the word text. This is placeholder text, and this is, all this is is a generic text that uh, when you type in your text which is appropriate for your document this is where it will be placed this over here is called the text pane the text pane can be opened and closed simply by either clicking the text pane button or the arrows next to the graphic or to close it by the X that's up here in the corner you open it back up and click on the word over by text and you can type in what you like which this one I'm gonna type in my name see how it puts it into the shape and then I'm gonna to click to the next one and I'm gonna type Linda which is my fiance and then after that I will type in whoops excuse my typing Kira my daughter Kane, my son, and lastly, Nettie, the family dog. Which, I, when I'm done with that, I will close the text pane. <clears throat> and then over here, I can click on one of the shapes. And these here are called handles. I can use these to make the shape bigger, smaller. I can use this handle here to spin the shape and each one of these has a handle okay and um, I can also come down here I can make the graph bigger if I want to also now when you uh, insert a smart art graphic onto your document two tabs will come up under the smart art tools design and format we'll go over what's on the design tab first now after I've looked at this, if I'm leaving anybody out, which I guess I did, the family cat, I would want to add a shape. So I would come up to add a shape button and add a shape. Whoops. Click the undo. If you ever make a mistake, that's what you can do. Then I want to add the shape down here after Nettie. So since it's the cat, I will add the shape after Nettie. And there I go. I have it right where I would like it. Now I can open up the text pane and type in his name, the cat's name, which would be Sake. Now I can close the text pane again and I can move this left to right, whichever I would like. I can change the layout, see here in the illustration what it may look like. I like what I have though, so I'm going to keep that. Now I look down here and I see where maybe everybody might not like where they're positioned. Linda, I'm sure, isn't going to want to be there, so I'm going to come up and click the Promote button to move her up by me. The kids, I'm sure, don't want to be in the same level as the family pets, so I'm going to demote Nettie. Click on each one in the shape, and I'll demote Sake. There we go. And after I'm done with that, I can come over here to the Layout Group, and simply by scrolling over each one I could see different layouts I can click on the more button I could see even more of them or this here and this goes back I could change it completely into a different one if I want of one of the seven styles which I don't want to do I like what I have so therefore I'm done with that I could change the colors simply by mousing over them I could see what they would be I like lots of colors so I'm gonna go with that and then I could also come here and change 
smart art styles. I like what it is. Or I could just click on that and change it. Or I'm going to click back and change it back to what I like. And so on. Whoops. And then come over here and I can click more for other ones. Styles. I like this 3D. This looks pretty neat here. I'm going to keep it as that. So I click on that and it would change to this style here, which I like. And then after you're done with that, you can we can switch to the format tab. Now in the format tab, this tab, this is pretty neat. Um Kira. I say she would like she likes stars so I could change the shape of hers if I want say into a star there cure is a star and I could come over I can make the star bigger it's pretty neat by grabbing clicking and dragging on those handles and Kane well Kane would probably be I guess he'd like a lightning bolt probably and there I can change his and that's the shapes there. And I could also make canes larger by simply click, clicking on the larger button or the smaller button. Next, I could come over to the shape styles and I could change the style if I would want to into many different types. Let's say I want, I'm going to go with that, but. I don't want that so I'm going to click the undo and go back. Next I could click on the outside of this graph a little bit here. I could fill in a color. Make it any color I want. That looks kind of neat there. So I click on the color and that's what I get for my background color. Now I could come over here and click on mine here. My name here and if I would want to change the outline of my shape there I could click on this and it changes the outline of that and Linda's I could add a shape effect to hers I could make hers glow hence see the hue around her shape okay now after I'm done with that I could come down and click on Nettie here and I could scroll over here with the word art styles and change Nettie's name to what I like. And that looks kind of neat and I simply click on that and it changes it into that. Next I could click down here on Sake's shape here and I could go through I could fill in his with a type of color if I want or I could come over here and I could fill in other types of colors if I wanted also. And simply to get these to close, push the escape button and then that closes. I could make Sake's name glow also. And there we go. And if I would like to rearrange it, I could arrange it align it along the side of the page I could rotate it do anything I would like by clicking the arrange button and also change the size by manually typing it in here and that is it on my uh, tutorial of SmartArt I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something thank you for your time